give us in a tremendous form and Bangladesh actually all of South Africa in 150 off runs. That actually played a big role and he was the uh, cricketer of the series. series, yeah, definitely. But uh, somehow, uh, in the combination, in the last match, the skin was missed out, he's not in the 11. Uh, same way, if we look at in the Dhaka Premier League cricket, uh, Enamul Bijoy, he scored a huge run, uh, 11.38, and it's a world record in list of cricket. But still, he's waiting for his chance in the 11. Do you think these two guys are a bit of unlucky? No, absolutely, Bijoy has done fantastically well. He's got himself into the squad, but I like to be fair as a coach. The player that's in the squad must get the first chance. The player coming into the squad must then wait his turn, like Ravi. Ravi travelled with the team for a long time and then eventually gets his turn. He's now in the squad, he's got to wait for his opportunity because the player that was in the squad ahead of him should play first. But Tascan, usually unlucky because of just, just the conditions. I mean, it's not difficult to figure out that uh, any seamer who can bowl cutters and spin the ball away from the right hand batsman is going to be a better option. I mean, these slow balls are generally off cutters coming into the right hand and just getting the ball away from the left hand and these type of from the right handers and these wickets seem to be the better option to go and that's why we're playing two left arm seamers at the moment. Taskin will play. I mean, he's been fantastic for us in this format. It's just uh, because of the conditions, just very unfortunate. So definitely, the goal is to make it 3 0. So, uh, the ODA success, if we can see that uh, in South Africa, Bangladesh bring a great success uh, under your coaching. Uh, here also, uh, away condition, we did great. But uh, if we compare the Test and T20 performance, it's not matching with the ODAs. As the head coach and as the mentor of the team, what do you think? What is the reason behind it? Well, I think there's a big difference between T20 cricket and, and, and 50 over cricket. Um, um, it's hard to pinpoint the exact reason um, obviously boundary eating is a big thing in T20 cricket um, in saying that I mean I, th I thought in the two games we played here we were pretty competitive the second game here we got 165 we maybe could have bowled a bit better one or two decisions that we made um, to have impacted the game a little bit differently so whilst the results not as good as what it should be I don't think we're that far off in the T20 cricket um, I think we're playing against a, a very dangerous person in the T20 side. Or they always one of the favourites in T20 cricket, particularly in their home conditions. So I don't think we fall off in T20 cricket. We've got areas to improve on, we know that. And we've got some games lined up and a few practice sessions lined up that hopefully we can work on those skills. Um, but yeah, we, we, we've got some work to do. Um, in a very competitive fashion, in a mind setup. This is what actually reflects in the wonder version of Bangladesh. Same way, the first class cricket is not that like the first class cricket. So it is hampering the test match cricket on the field. Do you agree that the competitiveness of the formats? I'm not yet to, to judge any of the formats that have been played in Bangladesh. The big concern is obviously the, the number of 40 games that the guys play. I think is it maybe four or five games a year. So Bijoy has joined us our test team but hasn't played a red ball game for over a year. So it's so difficult to come into a test match having not played a 40 game for over a year. So maybe not the quality, but just the number. I think they need to play more games. Um, SA8, I mean, um, Bangladesh A tours are, are so important. Domestic 40 games are so important. The number of games they play is so important. Um, and maybe they're not playing enough of that particular format. I can't, come, I can't talk about the standard, because I haven't seen much of it. But I can tell you that maybe they're not playing. You think of England, they're playing 15, 16, 40 games a year. So they have to play 10. Australia are playing 12, 11 or 12. I think we maybe be playing 4 or 5. And Beach is a great example. Coming to a testing, having not played a 4 day game for over one year. Very different. In India, uh, Bangladesh is doing uh, good in ODIs, as, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, if you look, Russell, uh, you, the captain, uh, sometimes you try to uh, uh, say something, uh, maintain something to uh, check your bench cricketers. So the last match is not the a part of the ODI Super League and we have cleansed the series 2 nil right now. So do you go for any kind of experiment? Yeah, it's, it's tricky because like I'd love to play Bijoy. That's another right-hander in our batting lineup and I think we really need to have left-handers against uh, their particular lineups. Um, so maybe not too many changes in the batting lineup because he's the one batsman that he hasn't played a game yet in the 50 overs. But he's a right-hander. I'd like to have a few as, as many as possible left-handers in the lineup, so unlikely to think over that. 
the pitch conditions is just shouting you have to play an extra spinner. Um, so very difficult to play all the other fast bowlers because there's nothing in there for them at the moment. So might end up playing an extra spinner depending on which we could be playing at the moment. So it's easier said than done where you just want to play everybody. You've also got to make sure you have a balanced team that's suitable to playing under those conditions. So all changes whilst it was at the top of my head might not be that possible in tomorrow's game. What your message will be to the cricket book? Now that the T20 World Cup is of massive importance for us. It's, that's our main priority at the moment. The 50 of a World Cup is still 15 months a year and 3 months away. A lot can happen between now and then. We've got a lot of cricket to play before then. Our, our focus should be on this T20 World Cup. Um, trying to be competitive. We've never won a, a T20 World Cup game yet. Bangladesh, so uh, to go there and be competitive is a, is a big challenge for us. And, we are very determined to try and win some games in this particular competition this year because we know we didn't have a good campaign last year. What will be your message before the team to work up to the team? Look, we've just got to play good cricket. The bottom line is I think we've got a good set of skills, we've got a really good bowling attack. The important thing is is, is to deal with the pressure of World Cup events. It's always a challenge um, and particularly in a, in a, a cricket loving country like Bangladesh, I think the players feel that pressure and, and being able to deal with those pressure moments with the media, with the public, with all the scrutiny on them is going to be of paramount importance. So just try and stay calm, stay focused, take it one ball at a time because it's the intensity of the scrutiny in those events is very good. Series of the mission is on the house. Is this the thing actually help the cricketers to regain their confidence before when they appear in any other format? I don't think confidence is a, is a, I don't think playing well in one format gives you confidence in playing in the other format. It's a totally different format, totally different set of skills, sometimes totally different set of players. I mean, some of the test players you think Mushi, Momino, Joy, Everdot, Kali, they're not here, so um, they need to develop their own confidence in their own format uh, for those formats to improve. Some people said that in Bangladesh, 